Alrighty. We are going to talk to the companions one last time. Um, in this episode, before we start the wicked ball mean? one. Um, so yeah, we're just to make sure everything's good with the ball ones. I figured. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh... I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. What do you need, my friend? Damn, these are good. Are these nuts or seeds or whatever? They're good. No. Yes. Could be better. Just three minutes. <laughs> Love seeing you, yeah? Talk to Cole real quick. Just trying to confirm saves. The, a joke, he laughs to himself, imagining herds of cattle in fields of iron. But now he worries it fits. A pleasure.
Is Knight Captain Ryland satisfied with you? I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the Guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Your name is Bianca? It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I take it you're a friend of Varric's. Who isn't a friend of Varric's? You have met him before, right? Why do you both look like cats that got into the cream? She's taken a huge risk coming here herself. Maybe for both of us. You're such a worrier. There's a giant hole in the sky. I think the Merchant's Guild has bigger things to think about. Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. Who could have given away the Taig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads. But in practice... Well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. Greetings. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was uh, not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. 
Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. You're a better person than you give yourself credit for. I appreciate the thought, but I know who I am. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I'll feel better when we take down Corypheus. As will I. He will not elude us forever. Just going back and re-talking to everybody. I trust all is well. Just wanted to make sure of that. Uh, we're just, this, I don't know if this episode's going to be mainly talking, but... um. Merge. I want to hopefully get into that main quest line here in a minute. We just had a talk to a quite a bit of, or did a quite a bit of missions at the board table. Good to see you, boss. <sighs> the main person we do have to talk to is Coldo. Then after that, we're going to be going doing the mission. Thank you. You were right, sir. Ah, her gracious lady bit. Blood and bath, well, fingers on the scalp, intimate, and then the moment is gone. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away... whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing, but that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. 
You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You... You killed me! What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot! You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark! The, the spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I couldn't, so I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions, it embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human, and humans change, they, they get hurt, and they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Let's pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it! No! How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here.
For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. It is good that he is not entirely changed, however human he becomes. Something you need? Here is the request the leader of the tradesmen made. Yes, I'll see to it. I expected the hero of Ferelden to be at Adamant, but it was not with the other Wardens. He studied the Blight after killing the Archdemon, and may know something that could help us. If you like, I can have agents look for him. That sounds like a wise choice. I'll make preparations in the war room. Now, was there anything else? I'll leave you to your work. I'm here. He is doing. How may I help you? The papers you found on the Red Lyrium smugglers were exactly what we needed. We have the location of the Red Templar's main supply of Lyrium. You'll never guess where. Wherever it is, you seem happy about it. I have cause. Sarnia, you've already dealt with the Red Templars there. That was Samson's Red Lyrium supply. The past tense is apt. We should send some people to sift through what's left. With some luck, we can track the shipments from the quarry to Samson's headquarters. Did you need something? I can talk with you. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guests? I don't eat. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. He saw me. 
They all see me. I'm glad you've allowed them to. I don't know if I did. I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I... <sighs> Cole? I told you about Reese, the mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she... Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. You're laughing at yourself? Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? He teaches them to fight with a secret flaw, part of a glorious strategy. May I ask how things are, now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats. But... I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. Okay, so now we're going to be finally going to the DLC, or not DLC, Void, oh, hang on, huh? Oh, I have to go to the war table, uh, rip, be right back. To reach the Empress before Corypheus, the only question is, how? We know how, I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been emperor. He's Céline's cousin and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well-loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the Elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough. 
without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. Hmm. The scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Herods. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. The handsome, charming one, of course, my lady. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by 
walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper. They will be telling stories of this into the next age. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duke Gaspard. I look forward to ending this civil war. As do I, my friend. The Empire needs stability and security now more than ever. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? An elf savage! Oh, make up your bid! What am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? Enjoy the party. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. Is that the Inquisitor? A Danish? No, that cannot be. Is it true the Inquisitor was headed out of the Fade by Andrasti? Where has that servant gone? Elves. This is a private conversation. Please, leave. Interesting. Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Nightingale makes me nervous. The Delonce is here. Maker, I hope Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the day?
Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Cassandra is usually not the subtle or cautious type. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. I heard the Grand Duke invited the position here. Shit. I just saw two dwarves from the Merchants Guild go inside. If anyone asks, I'm not here. Shit. I just saw two dwarves from the Merchants Guild go inside. If anyone asks, I'm not here. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. To have this jacket let out a little. What is Gaspar up to? I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated. But the time is interesting. Well, that's useful. Can Gaspar take the throw? Hmm. Just gossip. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. Just gossip. I wish there was more news coming from the convent. Good news is becoming an increasingly rare commodity. Who does Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight? His Majesty King Haramon has made considerable. I had hoped the to talk to the royal wing. Wing. Oh, How can they call this a festive
and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lady Inquisitor Lavellen. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. Remember to smile. This is all for show, my dear. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14... Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor. We welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Yvette, uh, how are my mind? They in good health? Do they want it? Inquisitor? Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antiva says so. Is it true? Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, my lady. Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been then. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Celine has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be... let us say, chaotic. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette, stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette, that's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. Can you believe the Inquisition filled its ranks with apostates? What 
something? That it wasn't the sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Damaged by Gaspar's catapult. He fires out the Winter Palace. There are a few here, Wooster's. Or Laney. I don't know. They won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Laurent was the love of his... Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. And here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. Who you are as a daughter, a lover, a friend, a very different people from the Inquisitor and Herald of Andraste. Orlesians codify this truth, make it visible. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves, unmasked. Anything happening I should know? Cole is behaving even more oddly than usual. Someone should keep an eye on him. It seems like you enjoy this, Vivienne. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is... indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest-ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. I still remember the day they came to tell me that my second husband... You must dance with me, Commander. You cannot stand about all evening. I'm afraid not. Thank you. Just as handsome when he does. Where has that servant gone? Can I get you Hello. a drink, Commander? Can Please, I Inquisitor, is there something you needed? Yes. All right, I think I'm going to end the episode here early. But, yeah, we made it to the ball. I'm going to try to see what we can do here. I just noticed there's paintings on the ceiling. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.